have another example where we introduce you to Excel for those of you who haven't created many Excel spreadsheets. Let's talk about, from a blank spreadsheet, return on equity on a home investment. So as an example, let's suppose you have a home and the initial value is $300,000. And let's suppose you make a down payment of $60,000 to buy this house. And what you want to know is, as there's a change in the value of the house in a year, what is your return on equity? So, for example, let's suppose the change in the home value is 15%. Okay, we can format all this stuff in a second. So, if you think about that without, excuse me, any complicated formulas, your house is now worth 300,000 times 1.15. So in this case, that would be $345,000. Okay. And so you made $45,000, right? Because it was initially worth $300,000. Okay. Now you invested 60,000, so your return on equity would be 45,000 divided by 60,000, which is 75%, which is really good. Okay, now what you would like to do is to be able to compute this return on equity as you would vary two things here, your down payment and what happens to the home value. Okay, now there's an easy way to do this using data tables that we learn about later in our Excel videos, but now let's just do this with an Excel formula. Okay, Excel formulas. So let's list going down prospective down payment. And I guess we should make this dollar so we could go control one. That brings up format cell currency. Control one brings up format cell. And we want this to be percent. Control one, there's a percent. That's 15%. Okay. So now what would be the return on equity in this case? Following our simple example. And then we're going to try and understand this for different values of down payment and change in home value. You take the final value of the house, okay? Well, let's, let's break this up. We'll take final value of the house, which would be one plus the percentage change times the initial value, the 345, and then the return on equity would be the final value minus the initial value, uh, uh, value. You made that much money, and you divide that by your down payment. So you made 45000 out of 60000 and we should format that as percent, I guess. So I made 75% in this case. Okay, but I could have lost money, and that's the problem. In other words, if we'd lost 30%, we would have lost 90000 lost 150% of our down payment, which would make us bankrupt. Okay, and you'll see this as applications to the banking industry. I sort of modified this example based on an excellent book, The Banker's New Clothes, which talks in detail about the banking industry, which I think will be a key topic in the 2016 election. So let's suppose our down payments went from 10,000, we could do 20,000, select those two. If we drag it down, Excel learns the pattern. So we could go, let's go to 80,000, why not? Oops, okay, control D there undid the movement down. And so I could say currency, and then let's go from minus 30% to minus 20%, and we'll select these, we'll go up to a 30% increment on the house, something like this. So do control 1%, okay. So now what we want to do is we want to take a formula that we could copy down and across, that is we vary the down payment and the percentage change in home value would give us our return on equity. And as a check, we know, well, we don't have 15% here. Okay, let's make this a 10%. Then we would get a 50% return equity. So in this box here, if our formula is right as a check, we should we should see a 50%. Okay. 
Okay, so hopefully that will work out. I can do a shape there, insert, and then you see I've got my shape here. So hopefully I can make these match. So let's see what happens. Okay, again, a data table, if you know those, would make this easier, but I'm trying to cater here to people who are just starting with Excel, give you another example to build your confidence with Excel. So what we would do here is we take our final value, which is 1 plus, okay, our initial value, 1 plus the return, change in home value, which is here. Now, there I need the dollar sign, the 12, but not the G. So I hit F4, see that cycling through the dollar sign. So that's the percentage change, like 1 plus minus 30 is 70%. Multiply that times the initial value of the home. That has to be totally dollar sign. Okay, and then I would subtract the initial value of the home, that's the final value, minus the initial value, which is right there, and then I would divide by my down payment, and that should be from right here. Now, there I need to dollar sign the F, right? Oh, sorry, the 13, uh, yeah, the F, because when I copy that across, I don't want the F to change. So I hit F4 like that. So there, if I lost 30%, I lost $90,000. I should have lost 150%. Okay. Now we need this to be a percentage. We lost, sorry, 900%. So we go percentage there. Okay, so we lost 900%. Now I can copy this point with down and across from what we've learned. We do control C, select this range, and we can do control V, or well, we'll do control V. And that should work here. And you see, we've got the 50% there. If the home value doesn't change at all, of course, there's no return on equity. Now the thing that's scary about this, let's suppose you have your down payment is a low percentage of the home price, let's say $10,000 here, okay, so if you have $10,000 here, okay, and you lose 10% of the home value, you've lost 30%, you've lost $30,000, and you're bankrupt because you've lost more than 100%, okay, so here's an example, if you had 30000 down payment, which is 10% of your home value in equity, and you lost 10% of your home value, you're bankrupt, now banks average their equity being a fairly low percentage of the market value, maybe under 5% or certainly under 10%. So it's easy when there's a small change in the market value of a bank's assets for a bank to go bankrupt if they don't hold much equity. And that's exactly what happened in 2008, and the U.S. government and European governments had to bail out the bank. So, I mean, you can have your own political views on this, but if banks don't hold much equity and there's a big change in market values, you're going to see banks fail again, and this is... I think many people think not the best of ideas. But the key thing here, and if you have 2013 Excel, there is a formula text function. And so we could look right here. Okay, we could see that formula. So we take the percentage change in the value of our house minus the initial value. You could simplify that, of course. Okay, because the G5s cancel. And divide by the down payment, and that's your percentage change in the value of the bank, and you can see in many cases, the bank is going to lose more than 100%, or the, you're going to lose more than 100% on your down payment. Okay, again, this could be the value of the bank's portfolio, and this is the equity in the bank that the shareholders have. Okay, and banks, again, have much lower equity percentages than most U.S. firms do, than European firms. So I think this is a very instructive example, because it deals with something that we're interested in the world today. And it shows you the power of knowing how to do your dollar signs and copying a formula. So I hope you'll look at this and understand. Again, G5 should be totally dollar sign because that's the initial value. In G12 here, we want to dollar sign the 12 because as we copy it down, we don't want the row to change. See right here, we stayed in row uh, twelve there, but we changed the column. And the F17, we want to dollar sign the F because we copy it across. We're still pulling the down payment from column F. Okay, so that's the end of this video.
Okay, so thanks for watching, and, and there's a free course, a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston, um, and all of these videos are coming from one of three books. So first, this one, which you can see here at the top of the screen, um, Microsoft's book, which has 355 reviews, uh, and then it's, let's see, 4.6 stars. Um, it's coming from this book as well, his marketing analytics book, which is down here, and you can sort of see 4.5, or his newest book, his analytics stories book, which is here. And with that one, you can see it's four point something, or maybe even five. I don't think it's five. Yeah, 4.8. And so yeah, anyways, in the description, there's a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston, um, or you can go to excelwithwayne.com slash free, and it'll be there. But again, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, just uh, please let us know. Thanks.